So this is a video about Mike's amazing Bitwig template and this is to use machine as a controller for Bitwig. And I had hoped to put together a proper workflow video, just haven't had enough time. So instead what I'm going to do is just give you a kind of overview of the actual template and how it works. So I've got a musical idea on the go here. First thing I'm going to do, just going to show you here, we've got the navigate and this takes us through the kind of core functions. You can see at the moment I'm set on track, that's indicated over here. And we can go through to macro, various other aspects of it, scale, so you can go and actually use this. If I was in the pad mode, this could be used to create different scales that we can actually get mapped onto this. And it means that if you don't understand the scales, you can just play away and it's gonna sound great. So that's one aspect of it. So back onto navigate, so this is kind of shortcutting through the various modes. You can see at the top we've got mute and solo, which is really handy. And the other thing I'm going to do is take you on to scene. So scene, I've got a variety of different scenes here. Let me just trigger the first one. This is the first scene. If we go to pattern, this is mimicking what's going on. Just going to come over here. Going to flip to the second one. So that's the intro. Can basically mute. Actually, let me get onto the right track first. So select the piano, solo the piano. Gonna switch to the third scene. So it's a real nice way to play around with the elements that you've programmed in. So um, yeah, that's about it for the moment. So, you know, just in terms of what you've seen, switching between the scenes that are created in Bitwig, you can also switch between the patterns. Look how this mimics what we see on display over there. Although you can see here, because I'm on the beats track, these are showing that these clips can be recorded into, that's why they're red. And uh, we can take record arm off and it very, very closely matches now. So um, yeah, it's a really, really great template. Michael's put some great work into it. I think there are still some enhancements to come. And um, I need to learn to use the template properly in order to do a proper workflow video. So I'm going to try and spend enough time this week to do that and uh, come back next weekend. And let's try and make something from scratch. Mm -hmm.